Hello, welcome to the quick start video on how to use the Centrify Deployment Manager to manage Centrify installations on Mac machines. In the first video, you saw how to install the Centrify agent on, directly on the Mac by simply double clicking the DMG file and going through the GUI installer. So as you can see, we've already joined here. This is handy for those who have smaller environments and can visit each machine one by one. But for those who have a whole bunch of machines and perhaps in many different locations, installing Centrify to each like this is not really ideal. This is where the Centrify Deployment Manager comes in. For this demo, I have two machines. The 10.8 Mountain Lion system that already has Centrify installed from the first video, and a fresh 10.9 Mavericks machine that I'm currently VNCing into, as you can see here. We can use the Deployment Manager to update the 10.8 machine to the latest agent and install and join the 10.9 machine all in one operation. To begin with, we first need to make sure that the Mac systems are prepped to accept connections from Deployment Manager. On the 10.9 system, there are a couple of things to check. As with any unjoined machine, you first need to make sure that the network DNS and domain settings are configured. There is the local admin account on the system. And the system is not currently still bound via the Apple AD plugin. For Deployment Manager, you also need to make sure that SSH access is enabled by going into sharing and making sure that the local admin is able to remote login. For the 10.8 system, since it's already centrified and joined to the domain, we only need to make sure that SSH access is enabled for the local admin as well. Once everything is all set up, we can open up Deployment Manager and add the computers into the list. When you first open up Deployment Manager, you will see the four step process. Building the computer list, downloading the software, analyzing the environment, and then finally deploying the software. The first thing we want to do is add our two computers into the list. You see a couple of options for adding them in. You can either discover the computers on the network, discover the computers from the cloud, use a pre-configured text file to add the computers in, or add a computer by IP address. Since I have a couple of computers, I can scan the network for the computers I want to add. In my environment, I have a set of IP addresses that my computer is definitely joined in, so I can just input those in and let the Pro Manager find the computers. As you can see, it scanned the IP addresses and it's found my two machines. On this screen, you specify the account credentials that Deployment Manager is going to use to log into the Mac and run the installation commands. This will be the local administrator account that is already on the Mac. So here you specify the account name. And to run the administrative tasks, that is the equivalent of unlocking the padlock, we use sudo and enter in the local admin password. On the next screen, for Mac systems, we actually enter the same password again. In my environment, all my Mac systems have the same local admin account. That is, they all have the same username and the same password. That means I can leave this box checked to say apply the same account to all the other computers. This means that the account information I've entered here for my 10.9 system, I can also use for the 10.8 system. After you finish the wizard, Deployment Manager will take the credentials and use this on each of the computers that you've added into the list. If you expand the tree view on the left, you will see that it automatically goes into each machine and queries them for the operating system and other account information. If you find, ever find any machines that where the OS cannot be found, go into the machine, right click, go to the properties, click on credentials, and make sure that the account information has been entered in correctly. Remember, you will need to enter the password in twice. Now that the computers have been added into the list, we can actually check out some version information. If I go to the overall OS view, on my 10.9 machine, if I scroll to the right, you can see that there is nothing entered for the direct control version. Whereas for the 10.8 machine, you can see I currently have 5.1.1-831 installed. This is a slightly older version of 5.1.1, and I know that 5.1.1-920 is actually released now. So we can use Deployment Manager to install a new agent onto the 10.9 machine and update the agent on the 10.8 machine to the latest version. At this point, we can go to step two, downloading the Centrify software. So click on the button, and you can choose to either enter in your Centrify.com login information here and download the agent directly from Deployment Manager. Or if you already downloaded the software and have it stored somewhere on your computer, you can actually go to copy from network or local drive and browse to the folder where you have your agents installed. So in my case, I've got Brian Share, Mac Agents, and 5.1.1-920. 
put that path into there. And as you can see, there are two, there's two software found, the updated AD check mechanism and the latest centrifuge suites. If you don't see your packages appearing after entering the path in, make sure that the Centrify Deployment Manager manifest file has been updated to the latest version. To check this, right click on the top node of Centrify Deployment Manager and click on Import Centrify Product Catalog. Here you can compare the date and time to make sure that it matches the latest known version of the manifest file. If it's an older manifest, you can actually manually update the manifest file to the latest version by going to centrify.com forward slash support forward slash product dash catalog dash offline dot ASP. This will download the latest manifest file in XML format, which you can then input into Centrify Deployment Manager and it will update the manifest to the latest version. In my case, since I've already got the latest version, it will recognize my two files. After your software is added in, you should see two sections, the analysis tools and the centrify suite update package. The next step is to go to step three, analyze your environment. In step three, we have several sections which show the different types of states that a computer added into Deployment Manager might be in. At the moment, we have two computers which are identified but not yet analyzed. If you can see the analyze button but it is grayed out, make sure you have the analysis tools downloaded into Centrify Deployment Manager and that will make sure that the analyze button is enabled for use. Press the analyze button, enter your domain into the box, and in my environment I've only got one domain controller, but enter as many domain controllers as you like and press the OK button. Wait for the analysis to finish. And you see step 3 updated to show the computers after the analysis. As you can see, for the 10.8 machine, we already have the direct control installed, so it says it is ready to update. For the 10.9 machine, it's not yet installed, so it's ready to install. As with the first video, the warnings that you see come from the AD check tool and are perfectly fine to ignore. Please see the first video for more information. Now that both machines have been analyzed, we are ready to install to both. Go to step 4 and select the checkboxes next to the machines that you want to deploy to and press the deploy button. Choose your options. On this window, if you just want to install the agent but not join the machine immediately, just uncheck this button and the Deployment Manager will only install the agent onto the machine but not do anything else. If you want Deployment Manager to also join the machine immediately after installing, enable the button, enter the credentials of an AD account that has authorization to join machines onto the domain. In my situation, it's the same user I'm currently logged in as. Select your installation options. This is the same options as you find on AD Join Assistant GUI and finish the wizard to commence deployment. This may take a while, so let me just jump in my time machine and fast forward a few moments. And boom! Both engines are now in deployed and installed successfully on the target max. So if we go to the 10.8 machine and check the version with the AD info v you see that it's 5.1.1-920. If we go to the 10.9 system and do the same thing, 5.1.1-920. It will restart the system preferences. You will now see the Centrify icon is now in the system preferences and the Mac is now also joined and connected to the domain. Cool. Thank you very much and hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any comments, questions or queries, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you. Bye.